day two of the geology of the Isle of Mull, staff and Iona and it's absolutely roasting here in Scotland. Um, <laughs> I've just put sunscreen on because I got a bit burnt yesterday. I just look dead shiny. I look like a metamorphic rock, don't I? Have you ever wondered how these basaltic columns form? Well, in this episode, I'm going to tell you. This wee island's called Staffa. It's just seven miles west of the Isle of Mull and six miles northeast from the Isle of Iona. To get there, you need to get a boat, and this is what we did. We boarded a boat ran by Staffa Tours that took us all the way from Fianport to the Isle of Staffa. There's some really good exposures of some of the Ross of Mull granite there. Aye. It took 35 minutes to get there, and we even had the opportunity to see dolphins, which was class. see that there's three different units that make up Staffa. You have the lower layer which is made up of ash, the middle layer which is made up of the columns and then this top layer that's made up of randomly orientated columns and ash together. This is the cave that everyone wants to see. It's known as Fingal's Cave and is 72 feet deep and 66 feet in height. To get to the actual cave, of course, you have to walk on the columns, but it's not too bad as long as you watch your footing and you make sure that you don't slip. I absolutely loved this bit. I kept getting distracted by rocks along the way. Fingal's Cave, situated on the Isle of Staffa, just off the west side of Mull, right? And we have these lovely basaltic columns. But how do we get columns like that? Well, I'm going to tell you. So these columns are actually lava. They're basaltic in composition. They're mafic, they're basic, right? Which means that they're rich in iron and magnesium, okay? It's what forms usually when you have a divergent plate boundary. So once upon a time, 60 million years ago in Scotland, you had this divergent plate boundary associated with the North Atlantic Rift, right? That North Atlantic Ocean tried to split down the North Sea, failed. Split down the west side of Scotland, failed. And what's happened is it's decided to go where it is now, where Iceland is, right? So as this has started to split open, you've had a lot of lava, basaltic in composition, reach the surface. And as that reaches the surface and erupts, sometimes it can form columns like this. Now this is an extrusive igneous rock here. But what's happened and the reason why these columns are here is because there's been a valley where this stuff is ponded. So when it ponds and forms in a valley, what happens is there's space, right? for it to cool a little bit slower than usual. And usually the top part of the like crust of like the lava cools first, and as this cools first, it basically contracts, the whole thing contracts. And because there's space, the natural nature's way of doing things is it's gonna form and fill these spaces, the blobs of lava that are in that space, right, that are ponded in that space, crystallize out and form these hexagonal like shapes and nonagons as well that all join together. It's nature's way of doing things, right? And it crystallizes first at the top and contracts and shoots all the way down, forming these joints, which are known as your basaltic columns. And that's what we have here today. Is that not mad? I think it's pretty class. So this bad boy here is a geological map of Staffa. It's sheet. 43 North, solid and drift edition, right? And when we look at Staffa, we can see it's made up of this pink, light pink rock that's got the label B, right? So when we look at the key, we can see that it's mainly made up of basalt. 
which is what most of my is made up of all these lava flows that spewed out. Think about it this way. Scotland looked like this 60 million years ago. We had the widespread opening of the Atlantic Ocean, which was allowing partial melting of the mantle, the layer beneath the crust. This then produces basaltic magma, and as that magma reaches the surface, it will erupt as lava. And here you can see the basalt is crystallising very quickly, turning into the black basaltic rock that you can see in this video. As the crust rifts apart and creates new oceans, we get basaltic lavas erupting at the surface. And when there's space for it, it will form columns. Here is just a normal lava flow from the recent eruption July 2023 in Iceland. It's going off all the time. There's constantly eruptions in this area of Iceland. It's really hot stuff. It's molten lava coming out of the ground and crystallising quite quickly to produce that basaltic lava that we see today. It's dark in colour because it's magnesium and iron rich as I've already said and it's fine grained. Sometimes it produces vesicles which are really really pretty to look at in the rock. Sometimes it produces porphyritic textures and other times it just produces basalt. But aye, that's basaltic lava and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.